Hey friends, tonight we are checking into the cabins at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. This is one of the most expensive and luxurious places you can stay at the Walt Disney World Resort. And I've always wanted to stay here. Tonight is the night. I'm going to give you the full cabin tour, check out all the amazing resort amenities. And then we're going to have some friends come over and hang out and have a beautiful Wilderness Lodge kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Disney's Wilderness Lodge has always been one of my all-time favorite Disney resorts and I've stayed here many of times before in the past but I've always walked past the cabins and thought to myself wouldn't it be cool to stay there for a night and look at us look at us now we're actually doing it we're staying here tonight and I'm so excited like I said this is a bucket list item marked off for me and I'm so excited to share it with you guys the Copper Creek cabins sleep up to eight guests and it's two bedrooms, two bathrooms. It has a full kitchen, a full jacuzzi, a fireplace, so many amazing things. But like I said, it can be a little bit expensive uh, depending on the season. And if you're paying out of pocket, you can be paying upwards of $3,500 a night. $3,500 a night. Luckily, we're not doing that. We're actually using DVC points. So you can actually get it a little bit cheaper and we'll go over that a little bit later on but right now I kind of want to head back to the cabin and show you guys around our cabin number is 8005 and we're gonna make our way over there now but I wanted to show you guys how cool this is they have like animal prints I think these are bears look at bear prints and here are the cabins themselves it's like a little home like I always thought like how cool would it be to own one of these and live here permanently because they are, it's like a, uh, it's a cabin. It's a whole cabin. That's, that's how you put it. And they're so beautiful. I cannot wait to show you guys the inside. One thing I noticed is that it is so peaceful and quiet over here. And even if you're not staying at the cabins, you can still walk this pathway. It's very beautiful. And if you want to get away from all the loud noises from the lobby and stuff like that and go for a nice little walk, come down and check out the cabins. It's, a, it's, 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 it's quite pleasant. <laughs> We're surrounded by swampland on both sides of us, and I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some critters or some snakes. I can already hear tons of cicadas, and uh, there she is. There's our cabin, 8005. Wow, isn't she a beaut, Clark? And also, look, you got some more animal prints. I'm so excited. We're gonna be staying here tonight. This is gonna be our home for the night. I'm going to head on in and turn on all the lights and set my bags down and then we're going to give you the full tour. Alright, here we go. We are all ready. I cannot wait to show you guys in here. It is so beautiful. I'm never going to want to leave. <laughs> going to want to stay here forever. Look at this. <laughs> It's more than likely gonna be a little bit echoish in here because we're in a gigantic cabin, but I think we're gonna start in the main living room area, and then I'm gonna show you the bedrooms and the bathrooms, and then outside where we have like a screened in porch where the jacuzzi and the fireplace is, you're gonna love it, and uh, I'm excited. I, I'm already in love. I wanna, I wanna live here forever. We're starting here in the kitchen area. We've got a gigantic kitchen table. We've got all of the appliances over here. Look at this, a little island, a full microwave oven and stove, a dishwasher. I mean, this fridge though is huge, look at this. Holy moly. Look at the size of this fridge. Goes all the way down, lots of storage room too. Cause you can see, they've got this over here. Very fancy. I could put my boxes of cereal in there. We've got the good coffee maker, the fancy stuff. No French vanilla creamer though. At least they do got the coffee mate though. I do appreciate that. Tons of space. I think it comes with all of your utensils too. Like I think they, I think they like have like the fancy plates. Yep. Mom brought out the good china. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yes, very fancy. <laughs> And then here is the living room area. We've got a pull-out couch. I think a pull-out chair. Remember I said this sleeps eight people and it's really nice. Everything is just well like decorated. Got a fireplace underneath the TV and look how high the ceilings are. Look at this. Oh, and something else is cool. 
the blinds are automatic. So as you can see, it probably just got really dark in here, but we can hit a button and they'll lower these blinds for us. Isn't that so cool? We're definitely gonna be playing with that later. Also, look at these chairs. They look very, very fancy. One of the coolest things has to be the outside like picnic table and the jacuzzi tub. It's in like in a screened in porch. We'll show you that after we check out the bedrooms. But like this is so massive and I'm not staying here by myself. I have friends coming to stay because like I said, it sleeps up to eight and there is so much room in here. Like we're just going to chill out and have a good time. Let's make our way back to the main bedroom and it's down here to the right. Right here you can see we have a regular bathroom and then this is the second bedroom but this is the bedroom I wanted to show you but also look at all the artwork they have on the walls too. It's so nice everything's like wood and then of course you have this right here look at this. Isn't that crazy? And uh, here is the main bedroom. It is so nice in here. I already have my laptop set up over here but it's got a nice little desk area there and then the bathroom itself is a gigantic jacuzzi. Look at this, a, 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 a stand-up shower right here. It's one of those fancy showers. And I'm pretty sure we have a TV in the mirror because they don't put remotes in here for nothing. Let's see, where's that TV at? Up, oh, up, 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 up. It's gonna happen, there it is. This is when you know you got the fancy stuff right here. Let's see what cable to, oh, Disney Springs, look at that. That's so cool. It's got all your Disney, Disney needs. They also broke out the fancy H2O products. Now these things are hard to come by because you know H2O products are going away, but these are not just your shampoos and your uh, body wash. This is the good stuff. Look at this. You got a shaving kit, a vanity kit, a shower cap, mouthwash, toothbrushes, facial soap, body lotion, all of this is going in my bag. Like, <laughs> I'm taking all of it. They give you a hair dryer, a scale, everything you need. Like, oh, and then uh, a little privacy for the uh, bathroom. No privacy at all in this place. Actually, double privacy, look at that. You can really hide away. Another cool thing, the main bedroom also has access out to the patio or the screened in porch area, like a separate entrance and exit. That's kind of cool, other than the main one. We're saving that for later though. Right now I want to show you guys this closet. I got this big closet right here and it's got lights on the inside. Look at this. Ooh, very fancy. You can put all your stuff in there. And like I said, I got my co computer all set up there. My GoPro's charging. Now we'll make our way over to the second bedroom. This bedroom's very nice too, because it's got this nice little window seat. Look at this. I don't know if I turned the lights on or not in here. There we go. Very fancy. Look at this. I just want to sit here. Oh look, and there's Kristen. <laughs> look at her. She's coming. Hi. She got a case of White Claws. I love it. <laughs> then they've got a little bed right here. Look at the bed. Ah, oh, Chippendale. Very, very nice. Kristen, ring the doorbell. It's got a doorbell. In this one room, there are so many spots you can sleep too. Like I said, it fits eight, but you can sleep a lot more because you have this bed itself. Then you've got the pullout bed here. I'm sure somebody can sleep here. I mean, this is nice. And even down there maybe. You never know. I'm going to put this up, see how high these drawers come out. No, I don't think anyone could fit in there. Maybe Michael Scott. <laughs> I call the window bed. <laughs> the second bedroom doesn't have its own bathroom, but it does have a gigantic walk-in closet. Look at this over here. Huge. Huge, I say. And the bathroom is a shared one that's like on the outside here, but it is pretty big. And this is also, I think, where the laundry room is because it does have its own laundry room. Look at this. So here's the bathroom. I think this one comes with a tub, isn't it? Yeah. You got the toilet right there. And then, oh, look at this. Look at all the artwork. 
This is the uh, other bathroom here. It's oh wow, very nice. I love the showers in here because they have like that rain effect to them, you know? And like I said before, we have a little laundry room, washer and dryer right there, and then the closet, which the closet is definitely another bedroom. Like, this is insane. Somebody could sleep in this closet. Honestly, like, I'm not even kidding. Like, you know, I always joke around about closets, but this is legit. All the space in the world. Look at this. You just close your doors, go to bed. Hi. Now I saved the best for last, the outside area. Look at this. This is beautiful. We've got a monorail view, so we can see the monorail. I can see the top of Cinderella Castle right there. This is so amazing right now. I love it. So beautiful being out on the water. They've got their own jacuzzi. Look at this. Your own private jacuzzi. Let me see. Oh, you can actually play the music out here too. Oh, sold. Oh my lord. Kristen, you can play the music out here. You can play the Wilderness Lodge music. That's amazing. You can play the Wilderness Lodge music out here. What kind of tunes we cranking? The Wilderness Lodge, like the backtrack. Oh my god. Look at this. I can't wait to actually hop in this hot tub later on and just watch the fireworks. Like, look at the ducks. We got ducks outside the, outside the room. And then the monorail should be scooting by anytime soon. This is such an amazing room. And I think I showed you guys the map before because the cabins are on both sides of the resort. Like uh, there's one on the other side and that side does not have firework uh, viewing. This one, I think this side is the only one that we can actually see anything of the fireworks. Got a little phone on the outside too. Look at that. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Keep the gate closed. We got the big picnic table over here. I remember I was telling you before, the main uh, bedroom has its own access. Look at, have a nice little area. It's like a dual sided fireplace. Wow. I like this a lot. I can't get over it. This is, this is definitely hands down the best place I think I've ever stayed. I'm locked out. I could just sit out here listening to this music for hours. Listen to this. It's like we're on an adventure. We also get to see the friendship boats actually going back and forth too. This is so great. I'm so happy right now. I can't wait to just sit here and drink coffee or have a beer and just stare. Literally, this is what relaxing at Disney World is all about right here. I mean, I could do this outside the cabin. Well, not right here. You can't have this view because this is... Uh, no way. Oh yeah, look at they are waving. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. It would be really cool to catch the sunrise, but I think it's actually happening on the other side of us. Now, I might be able to get the sunset, but I'm not too sure if I can see it set because you have some trees and the monorail in front of us, but Man, I just want to hang out here all day. But there's a lot to do, there's a lot to explore, but for the most part, I want to spend as much time inside the cabin or on the outside of the cabin. I also want to show you guys how these automatic uh, blinds work because I think it's so cool. Let's go find them over here. It smells so nice in here too. Like, it has its own distinct smell. Let's see, I think we just press this button. Oh, there they go. Look at this. Look at how cool that is. I love it. So then it drops it down a little bit, especially if the sun's peeking in. And I think there's ones up top too that he does it too. Let's see. Oh. Oh, they come from the bottom. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. 
Enough of the fancy blinds, even though they are pretty cool. Now I want to take you back and show you around the resort a little bit and also figure out what we're going to do for dinner. Uh, but I'd love to hear what you guys think of the cabin. Let me know, do you think it's worth the high price tag? And also, like I said, we are using DVC points thanks to the world of DVC and they actually brought back discounted DVC points. So we're paying like 50% off the, for this room and I'll show you what that's like real quick before we actually head back over to the resort. Like I said before, the World of DVC and the DVC rental store brought back discounted DVC points. So you can buy a bunch of DVC points. Right here they have 58 points for $15 a piece. So then you buy those and then you go and see what resort you want to stay at. And if it's available, they have a little tiny points calculator here. So if you look at like Animal Kingdom Lodge right here, they have Jumbo House or Value, a studio for nine points. So that's nine points times 15 is $135. And you can stay there for six nights for $135. It's really cool. I'll put all of their uh, links in the description. And they also have a how can we help you button over here because they, they always have a live agent in there. So it's actually really user friendly. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the breakdown on how to rent DVC points. And like I said, they have that little tab there, so always reach out to them. Now it's time to explore around a little bit, and then we're gonna come back here and we got a great idea. We were trying to figure out what we were gonna do for dinner tonight, and look at this. We have a grill right outside our cabin. So we're gonna have ourselves a good old fashioned cookout. Look at that. Seriously, it's right here. Our cabin is right there. We can cook off the food, we can eat it out here, or we can take it to our little patio and sit on our picnic table. And actually every cabin comes equipped with all cooking utensils already. So we Instacarted some food and they're gonna drop it off door delivery, or should I say cabin delivery? When I was away in Las Vegas or New York, Territory Lounge ended up getting a new menu. And on the menu, there's a s'mores old fashioned. So I think we're gonna head over there. You guys know I love my old fashions. And I'm gonna show you around, show you the lobby, and maybe catch uh, the geyser. Maybe we'll catch the geyser erupting making our way right back over to the resort lobby. It's so funny because usually I start off my videos inside the lobby, but we're pretty far away from it. Like we're centrally, like I would say like a five minute walk to everything, but it's cool to be tucked away a little bit, you know? One of the main reasons I love Wilderness Lodge so much is all of the fireplaces and little places you can go and sit down and relax and staying at the cabin it's like we have our own private one and it's so awesome it's definitely the Willis Lodge is definitely like in my top three lobbies I say that all the time because it's just beautiful in here every time I come in here I'm just like wow and of course like I said all the different fireplaces and little rocking chairs but we have our own fireplace so we're gonna make our way over to uh, Territory Lounge the Territory Lounge is such a nice little lounge and it's next to Artist Point and it's cool because you can actually play some games in here. They have a little bit of a scavenger hunt if you look at the ceiling there and a lot of cool like kind of Americana things. I like it in here a lot. I mean, you guys just know I'm a big Wilderness Lodge fan. And here it is, the s'mores old fashioned. I can see the toasted marshmallow in there. Look at that. I'm so excited to try this. Cheers to the wilderness. Cheers. Cheers. Bada boom. That's great. You didn't like this? I don't like old fashions. I don't like bourbon, whiskey, anything like that. You can really taste the marshmallow as you like breathe it in. I can't so much with the chocolate bitters, but this is really smooth and very good. If you like old fashioned, you gotta give it a go. I'm so happy I finally got to try this drink. It is really one of my favorite old fashions. Along with the uh, hazelnut old fashioned at uh, Enzo's Hideaway. That's another good one. One day we should do like an old fashioned crawl and I know uh, somebody I can definitely do it with. I love Territory Lounge and the s'mores old fashioned is phenomenal. But now it's time we head back and I think we have to pick up our groceries because it's time for the cookout. As we were sitting there enjoying our drinks, it looks like our Instacart groceries have arrived. Is that the stuff? Look at you. Oh, and they put paper bags. Very fancy. We need a luggage cart. Oh, I like it. Look at this. 
Got potato chips, cups, hot dogs, buns, Nathan's of course, some cheese. Why'd we get so much cheese? That's a lot of cheese. <laughs> I got just one package. Watermelon. This is a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Time for a cookout. I'm ready. I'm hungry. <laughs> We made it back to the cabins and it's time to start grilling up. We've got so much food. I think we spent $100. We used Instacart. They went to Publix, brought us our food and dropped it off right in the main lobby. They would have brought it over to the cabins too. And like I said, we have some friends coming over a little bit later on. And a lot of people I know rent out the cabins to actually have like birthday parties or special events and stuff like that. It's a really great spot to do it because you have all of these amenities. You have the full kitchen, you have the screened in porch and uh, we're just gonna celebrate life tonight and have fun here is our little uh, grill grill joy enjoy your barbecue and I like how we have our own little tag for it too this is for us cabin 8005 here's the grill itself gonna open it up get it going start it up get that temp up bada bing bada boom excellent I decided to switch over because I can't do no grilling in a fedora and a button up and I got my uh, when we were young festival hat on which honestly I have to say is probably the best concert I've ever been to and now let the grilling begin we've already got the kebabs and the burgers on going I love it we got some teriyaki steak some chicken some peppers some onions we got some burgers and of course we got the dogs too but We'll wait to put those on. We're gonna cook these off, sear them. I'll put the dogs on. You're gonna put the dogs on? <laughs> and then we're gonna put them up on the top deck and let it all just soak in and cook slowly. Hey, what's better, grilling here or the Grand Floridian? Oh my God, look at this here. Look at us. Look at us. Oh, by the way, look who's here. More I fun. I I'm so excited. I will not miss a grill out of resort. I know. And this is a good grill. Last no? time, me and you, we did Grand Floridian. Oh yeah. That it was, was a good time. Good. Yeah. Those burgers were juicy. That's you what I'm the, looking at now. The Bubba. These are the good burgers. The Bubba Burgers. The Bubba Burgers. And we got the Nathans. The Nathans and the corn on the cob, the potato chips, Everyone. and some water Malone. Right, some cool. water Malone. I do like some water Malone. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out by the grill, got the white claws going, and uh, the sun is starting to set. I'm very excited. The night is uh, the night is young. We're just gonna be, like I just said, living life. We are we young. young. When we're we were young, young. When we were young. And then when we were young. <laughs> we're just gonna enjoy. I'm I'm really enjoying this like the time now. It's cozy. Me and Kristen said this is peak coziness at Disney. Peak you coziness. Can't get any cozier than here. Yep. It's so funny, Sean's so tall, he doesn't even fit in frame. <laughs> <laughs> Sean walks in the frame and it's like the bottom of his chin. <laughs> Look at this. This is really cozy vibes right now. And it's funny that we're cooking out in November. It's November and we're cooking out and, in the wilderness. And we're warm. And we're warm. I'm cozy. It's a, Yeah, it is really nice just hanging out here. I have a cozy count on. How many times do you say cozy? In this it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot of cozies. And we have a fireplace and a jacuzzi. I know. Both outdoor together. Fireplace. Outdoor fireplace, outdoor the jacuzzi. On the night. It's yeah. Is there a TV cozy. outside? There is. Yeah. Wait, is there? It's dual sided, I think. Oh my God. Oh, I knew the fireplace was. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I oh, maybe. Know. I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to look. But a little Phillies, a little Eagles, a little jacuzzi. The Phillies are already losing. Are they? Are, oh, the game's already on? I believe it is. Oh. oh wow. It's smelling good, though. For some reason, whenever it comes to staying at resorts, I really do love cooking out. I think it's really awesome and it's affordable. Like for instance, like I said, we spent $100 on Instacart. We didn't have to go shopping. They delivered it here and we're cooking enough food to probably feed at least five or six. It's $100. I mean, I don't think you could feed five or six in Disney World for $100 anywhere unless you do it yourself. And uh, it still feels vacation-y, you know? But sun's starting to set now. Kristen has taken over the grilling duties for the moment. What do you got cooking there? I'm grilling the chicken kebabs. Chicken the China, the Chinese chicken. You have a drumstick and your brain starts kicking. Nah, it wasn't Was there. That it? it wasn't there. <laughs> Are you adding that background music right now? Yeah. Yeah? Makes it sound a little bit more wilderness, Lee? I'm trying to add this Instagram story, so maybe oh. we'll do a brother bear, Phil Collins. Oh, brother bear, Phil Collins. <laughs> secret is toasting the buns, you know? Oh, can we them it's a Philly secret. You really like that brother bear, don't you? <laughs> 
I'm going in for a taste. The good old Bubba Burgers here. So good. Alright guys, we're here to have the watermelon. The sounds you make. Cheers. It's juicy. <laughs> watermelon is I have to say this might be my favorite grilling experience. I mean, we used these grills in the past, I think when I stayed at Boulder Ridge, but just having the close proximity to our cabin right there is just so cool. And also, what time are the fireworks? Because I think we get a firework view. Yeah, so we're gonna be able to sit down and watch the fireworks. You could watch the fireworks while sitting in your jacuzzi, which, that sounds amazing. We're taking this show inside now. Taking a show on the road. Starting to get a little dark out. Got my doggies. Got my doggies and my water Malone. Look at these skewers. I am so excited. Did you guys try the chicken yet? Mm-mm. I'm gonna grab some chicken. I didn't even grab a hot dog yet. Did you give me a bun? Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. I'm telling you, the public skewers are just so good. The, we already had the steak. It was like a, a teriyaki steak. Amazing. Hello, you. You want a hot dog? <laughs> Look at this guy dressed all nice and everything. It's very oh, nice. Good evening. Very nice. Very nice. Hey, Grab guys. a plate. We got some kebabs. Beautiful. The cookout was a success. All of the food was amazing. We ate all the watermelon, which was good because the watermelon was fantastic. And now we're going to watch the fireworks. And I think we might be able to see a little bit of the water pageant. Just a little bit. What are you doing over here? I'm hiding out in the corner. You see the emergency exit? Really? Is it the word to get out of here? This is the emergency exit. Open it because it's not an emergency. Don't open the emergency exit. That's it. If there is an emergency, we would have to exit through here. It looks like a doggy door. It does. Oh. And I'm pretty sure the fireworks are going to be right there. We're going to get a good spot. I also think they're going to pump in the music from Enchantment. Oh, did I catch you guys all off guard? Oh. I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, Promise and Travis are here too. And look, I think that's literally where it's gonna happen. Oh! Enchantment's good. Such a good show. Wow. Oh, yeah, we're getting the music. Oh my lord. This is really nice. You are the magic. You are the magic. <laughs> I said I wanted to at least stick my feet in while I'm watching the fireworks. And that's what I'm doing right now. Look at this. Look, this is great. This isn't even joking right now. Look at this. <laughs> Wait, but this isn't a joke. It's real life. <laughs> Look at that. I'm serious. Sit right over there. That's a corner spot. 
Look at this. Seriously, you guys are missing out. You don't even know. This hot tub feels really nice, actually. I want to put my whole body. In, but I right? It's just so nice. I don't know when I'll ever be able to say I watched Disney fireworks in a hot tub again. Like, it's pretty iconic. Look at the monorail going by right now, too. The fireworks were amazing and it was so cool. Like I said, when is the next time I'm gonna be able to say I watched Disney fireworks while sitting in a hot tub? So cool, I like how they pump in the music too. And I think it's been like a while since I heard the new intro to Enchantment. So when I heard Walt Disney talking, I was like, wait a second. So I got really excited and now we're gonna have a little dessert and then hang out and you know, kind of just uh, enjoy the cabin. Hanging out, watching the Eagles game. Look at this. Very cozy. Nikki T's got a bottle of red. My father and uncle would be proud of me for watching the, the Philly game. <laughs> there you go. 7-7, seven, seven, first quarter. And we also got uh, a little dessert. A little, a little bear moose. <laughs> they were so cute. I couldn't just leave them there in the Look at this guy. I love it. I'm so perimeter, like I'm so like, <laughs> you're like the bear. Yep, I'm like the bear. Look at that. The bears. The bears. <laughs> Sliding into the bear moose. Oh, what's going on on the inside? Why is it pink? Oh. Look at that. It's a gender reveal. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the pink moose here though. Like, <laughs> no, there's pink in there. That is pink. <laughs> that is 100% pink. That's what she said. Intense. Yep, Enjoying some bear moose next to the fire. Look at that. It's cool because the fire changes colors, the lights. You can change them, I think. I think there's like a little button on the side here. Because I've seen the sign there. Ooh. Oh, hey. hey. Oh, boop, 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 boop. So you could do green for Christmas, you could like change it up. Yeah! It's a fall party! And with that, I think we're gonna call it a night and go to bed, but wake up and explore the Wilderness Lodge a little bit more. I mean, I really want to take in every single moment that I'm gonna be here at the cabin, and uh, maybe we'll get some breakfast in the morning, but I'm excited. Time to hit the sack. The good old bed. And good morning, Starshines. The Earth says hello. It is 7 a.m. And I woke up, went out my side door, and decided to come out here, sit on the rocking chairs, have some coffee, and enjoy the fireplace a little bit. Look at this. Isn't this so beautiful and peaceful, too? It's so awesome seeing all of the Magic Kingdom come alive over here. I can see the monorails reporting for duty. You can see everyone kind of coming to life at the uh, Contemporary Resort. And I'm just drinking my coffee in front of the fireplace and the rocking chairs. I didn't even know these were rocking chairs, but I like it. Keeps my uh, feet a little toasty. I remember when I first started doing a lot of these resort stays, I used to always wake up bright and early and watch the sunrise. It was something that I just really enjoyed doing. And one of my all time favorite sunrises was here at the Wilderness Lodge. And it was such a, a spectacular event. I remember just sitting there on the boat dock thinking, wow, this is amazing. And <laughs> I kind of felt like doing that today. Uh, I don't know how well it's going to be though because the weather's not the best. Uh, but uh, I figured I'd wake up, have some coffee, watch the sunrise, and. 
just so you guys know, I kept this on all night long as my uh, little bedtime music. And there it is, 6.57 a.m. It's really peaceful though. I also love just exploring the resort before everyone wakes up and you kind of get to see a little peaceful side of it. Even though when we stay over in the cabins here, it's kind of always peaceful. Now it's like extra peaceful. And I think we're gonna make our way down to the boat dock. That's where I sat last time and it was beautiful. And uh, looks like it might be the same, same thing. Also, I wanted to point out it's November and the weather outside is amazing Like I think it's in the 70s, but it feels so nice a little bit chilly But I kind of like that it's not too often you get to have cold mornings in Florida But now that we're getting into the you know end of fall winter season uh, It's starting to happen again. So soon. I might have to start wearing a coat Look at this so peaceful Wow Right there is Discovery Island in front of us. The abandoned park, the abandoned Disney park. And this is where the sunrise is gonna happen. Sitting out here is so beautiful. You can hear the crickets and the water, the boats, like uh, the transportation are just starting to make their rounds. And I love it. Got my coffee and we're ready to go. The sketches and plans you will see today are simply a starting point. Our first overall thinking about Disney World. Everything in this room may change time and time again as we move ahead. But the basic philosophy of what we're planning for Disney World is going to remain very much as it is right now. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. Another 30 minutes or so, the guys are stuck going off again. Goes off every single hour on the hour, and uh, it's still just very peaceful. You can hear the crickets and nobody really out and about yet. Still really too early in the morning for people to be heading to Magic Kingdom. I love it. The trees, everything. It all gets me like super excited. That was super relaxing and peaceful. Definitely worth waking up bright and early just to catch that sunrise. I love it. Like, honestly, it's it's one of my favorite things to do, and I'm so happy that I get to share it with you guys. I added a little bit of uh, the sunrise that I told you I took a, a long time, I don't even know how long ago, because I remember it was just so perfect, and I just love it. Like, it's, it's a beautiful day here at the Wilderness Lodge. It's a beautiful day at the Wilderness Lodge. Now I think we'll make our way into Roaring Fork and grab ourselves some breakfast, some more coffee. I think they have a new cinnamon roll inside there. And uh, yeah, get ourselves going for the day. Now we have our coffee and also French vanilla creamer. Very often you see Disney resorts with coffee made French vanilla creamer. You guys know I love it. And I thought my fridge wasn't fully stocked, but it was just over at the uh, Roaring Fork. And also I got myself the new cinnamon roll, which looks crazy. <laughs> and I got the bear claw. Now I ordered these because I they were new on the menu, but I wasn't expecting them to be this big like you know bear claws are bear claws but this is like a grizzly bear claw, a big grizzly bear claw these are gigantic and uh instead of eating them there i'm going to take them back to the cabin share them with my friends because there was it's huge wait till i show you first off here is the blueberry cinnamon roll look at this I mean, it's it's a pretty decent sized cinnamon roll. It's got blueberry frosting and blueberries on there. But can we talk about this bear claw? Holy moly. Look at this. Look at this. Holy, right? That is huge. 
that is that is probably that, I mean uh, my hand is pretty big and it's bigger than my hand <laughs> We are back at the cabin. We have our music playing, and now it's time to have a little breakfast with the view. Look at this. Oh, I just get so excited. I hear a bunch of critters out here, too. Ooh, I wonder what that was. Is that a cicada right there? Did you guys hear it? First things first, let's dive into this bear claw. I'm gonna eat the, the bare finger here. Wow. Now let's cut down the cinnamon roll. I think we'll go right down the middle here. We cut the blueberry cinnamon roll into fours. So, I don't know how much I'm gonna like this one though, but we'll find out. Blueberry, like, icing it is, I think. Mmm. That's not bad. Holy moly. I kind of like it. The bear claw is way better though. As I'm sitting here enjoying my breakfast, doing a little work on the laptop, just watching the boats go by, the monorails over there. This is so awesome. I get so excited over the littlest things. It just amazes. It really does amaze me. I just can't get over this music right now. And just the whole entire vibe right now, it's so cozy, it's so amazing. The sunrise, the cookout last night, we really made the most out of our stay here at the cabin. Like, like, I never thought I would ever stay here and it's definitely something that I'm probably not gonna do again. If I would, I would really wanna do it with my mom and sister. I think my mom would love it here. But yeah, I really feel like I, I made the most of it. Now I'm sitting out here, I'm gonna finish up editing some of the video, I'm gonna finish my coffee, just kind of enjoy. So I think I'm just gonna call it a day from here. Checkout is at 11 and uh, we're gonna have to go home. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Did I time it right with that music? I think I did.